Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jim Reed. In this episode, we're going to discuss a way you can increase the stall angle of your race plane and decrease the stall speed. Vortex generators. Oh, look, there's a little wing rock, and that's called a stall. To understand how vortex generators work, we need to understand what the air interacting with the wing is doing. If we imagine the wing is sitting still and the air is flowing past at some speed, the velocity of the air will be slowed down by its interaction with the surface of the wing. This area from where the air is flowing at normal speed down to where it is slowed by the wing is called a boundary layer. There are two types of boundary layers, laminar boundary layers and turbulent boundary layers. A laminar boundary layer is more susceptible to a separation in the stall, especially on the aft portion of the wing, because the air is trying to decelerate after hitting the max thickness of the wing. When the airflow needs to decelerate too quickly, like when you have a really high angle attack or you make a massive turn, there's a good chance the air will become separated. The reason a laminar boundary layer is more critical is because the variation in speed close to the surface is less abrupt than that of a turbulent one. One way to help avoid separation is to make sure that the flow has a turbulent boundary layer. The use of vortex generators can help guarantee this. One great example of this principle is a golf ball. The dimples on the surface of the golf ball are vortex generators. They create a turbulent flow on the ball, which is more drag than the laminar flow, but it's far less drag than separated flow. This allows the ball to fly much further in the air. Does it help? Not many teams are running VGs. Pete McLeod has them on his airplane, and he's not the slowest one out here. Hello, YouTubers. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, you need to click here. And if you want to watch more videos, you need to click here.